Everybody knew that the walls were broken down. Everybody knew. Look at verse. Look at Everybody knew that the people had no help in building the wall. But soon as God sent a sent man of a house to help the people, somebody got a problem. How do y'all always come up for prayer? How do sit down? How much prayer do you need? They want to know I need help. See, I need food. Yes, all these children, help me somebody. I need help. As long as you got people in the church, God will send somebody to be a blessing. Everybody knew in verse number 13 that the gates were on fire. And nobody wanted to put them out. Everybody knew that the city was not safe. The walls have been broken down. The breach had been set in. The gates were on fire. Everybody knew that, but nobody did nothing. But soon as Nehemiah come in to do a good work, y'all don't believe me. I know y'all don't believe me. I know y'all don't believe me. Look at it. Check this out now. Look at verse 1. Now it came to pass. When they heard that I had built the wall, and that there was no breach left therein. Help me somebody. That's when they came. As long as hell is being raised in the church, nobody don't say nothing. As long as folk pickpocket money in the church, scare money for the kitty, nobody says nothing. As long as, help me somebody, as long as they give the preacher $15 a month, nobody say nothing. As long as he drives that raggedy car, nobody say nothing. But as soon as the man of God get an updated car, uh, at least 2010 or 2013, they don't mind that. <laughs> Help me somebody. Don't have a problem with it. But many of us, many of us know the blessings of God because we are tied to divine purpose. Amen. Amen. Nehemiah says, listen, because I know all of these things need to be done. He says I cannot come down. He says the work is too important. What do you mean, Reverend? He says, listen, the first thing I need you to know is that Pastor Thompson, the apostle, is doing a good work. He ain't got no time for no foolishness. He ain't got no time for no shenanigans. He ain't got no time for no fickle folk. Help me somebody. He's doing a good work. He cannot come down for the foolishness. And it's time out for us to be dealing with the same foolishness month after month, week after week, year after year. And if your man ain't doing it right, leave him alone. As I said, listen, if people start showing you who they are, guess what? If people show you who they are, believe them. Well, you know, I believe he'll get that. I trust God. Y'all know he's a miracle worker. He may not come when you want him, but the Lord is on time. And I'm waiting on the Lord to change his life. I know I got five kids from him, but I'm waiting for God. Turn this nigga around. Don't you know he already told you he ain't no good? Leave him alone and move on. Help me somebody. He said, not only am I doing a good work, but secondly, I cannot afford to come down. Let me tell you something. When you tied to divine purpose, don't you let nobody stop you from doing what God told you to do. God can tell somebody up in here what to do, the man of God have confirmed it and you sit around waiting for somebody to tell you what you should not be doing. Ouch. 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 Listen, it's time out for foolishness. Amen. Amen. If this brother can't call you before 12 midnight, don't accept no more calls. If he can't see you during the day, don't see him at night. 
He says, not only can I not, I'm doing a good work. Not only can I not come down. He said, but I can't leave this work until it's done. Are y'all with me today? I'm going to tell y'all something. We, we got too much work to be done. To be stopping in midstream. God has purpose too much in your life. For you to let every nick and nanny stop you from doing God's work. Yeah. Nehemiah said, I got to do three things, brethren. I'm going to leave you in the hands of the Lord. He said, the first thing I got to do is I got to reconcile the people to the work. Amen. Let me tell you something. We got to be mindful that there's a work that needs to be done. And God is choosing the man of God to reconcile you to the work of God. The Bible says, how can you hear? Without a preacher. Now, I don't care what vision you got. The Bible said that the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet. There is no spirit in here that should be contrary to the spirit of this house. If God told you something last night that is contrary to the bishop of this house, guess what? It was the devil. easy as I can say because understand something Jehovah does not bring confusion Jehovah doesn't bring no trouble so it can't be God it had to be the devil now if the vision of the house is leading us that way and you got a pipe dream that leads you this way Guess who wrong? You. First thing that Nehemiah did, Nehemiah said, I can't come down. I cannot stop the work because I need to reconcile the people to the work. But then I need to rally the people to serve the Lord. Club 
drinking every Friday night for 25 years. And now they come to the church and y'all don't want to have church on Friday. What you think they're going to do? I'm trying to say. I'm almost done. Nehemiah said, I must reconcile the people to the work. Secondly, I must rally the people to serve the Lord. Are y'all with me today? But if you look at chapter number 6, verses 4 through 5, he says, I got to remain focused in the midst of the task. Have I got a witness here? Because I found out, Pastor, there's going to be so many distractions that's going to try to move you from the...